What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in this video I want to talk to you guys about how to alleviate uh, sore finger joints. Okay, so before I get started, just take a second to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, of course, it helps me out a lot, helps to grow the channel. So let's get into it. Um, here's, here's the way I see it. If you do any, way, any, any form of grappling sports, such as uh, with a gi, right, with judo uh, or BJJ, you're, you're kind of screwed. Like um, your fingers, your finger joints are going to be affected, okay? And uh, me, I remember a couple of years back, uh, I went to go see a doctor. I had x-rays done and all that. And um, essentially, I have arthritis. Not the degenerative kind where like, uh, it's kind of like a sickness and it's, you know, it's just happening to me. But it's the, um, I forgot the, the exact term, but it's the arthritis that, that happens from uh, overuse and abuse. You know, so you guys know what I'm talking about if you do uh, BJJ or Judo. Uh, yeah, your fingers are gonna get a beating. And um, here's the thing, if you, if you stop uh, doing grappling, okay, if you, if you stop using your fingers to grip as hard, then obviously it's gonna get better. But since this is not an option because, you know, we're just old guys and it's, you know, who have a lot of fun doing this and we're not gonna stop. So how do you, how do you deal with this? How do I deal with this? Well, one way is uh, using tape, but tape is just, it's not really a, a solution. It's kind of like, you know, just a band-aid, so to speak. You know, you're just, you're just supporting your fingers while you're doing the sport, but you're still making it, it's still get, getting worse, okay? So the one thing I find um, that helps is if you're, uh, you have to use a pulsating grip, okay? So what that means is that you grab onto the guy, but there's certain times where you don't have to grab on super tight all of the time you know only when the person is only when you have to to block uh, uh, you know to, to when you need to use force because you have to uh, block the person or if you want to pull or push but if you're just kind of like in a position where it's it's nothing's really going on you don't have to hold on that tight okay so that's one thing so pulsating means that you know at certain like your grip is generally strong but sometimes you'll you know, it's, it's, it's in a, how do you say it? Let's say at 50%, okay, uh, of strength. And then, okay, let's say the guy moves and you want to pull him back. So then, boom, you got to go, you got to jack it up to, let's say, 100. But right after that, okay, like, as soon as you feel that you don't need to anymore, uh, you just drop it down to, to like 50 again. Or, you know, from 100, you drop it to uh, 80, 70, uh, 50, you know, so you could like uh, save your, uh, you could save your fingers and also it allows you to not get as tired with your forearms. Okay, so that's one way to do it. It's called a um, uh, Well, it's called I mean, this is a term that one of my teammates uh, mentioned to me he, he talked about pulsating grip. Okay, so you pulsate you don't always have it super tight uh, also what I find helps is um, uh, Let's see here this is gonna this is gonna go a little bit you know and a, a, a little bit to the side right so it's nutrition and and recovery okay so what I mean by that is that um, everything else it's kind of like just a way to like uh, alleviate bypass temporary fix you know like for example you could use a little bit less uh, of your grip when you're um, uh, when you're rolling um, okay, that's in BJJ. You can kind of get away with that sometimes. So like you'll you, you'll use more uh, a grappling uh, no gi type grips, you know. Uh, so you grab you hook them like this, you hook them like that. You won't play too much spider. Try to grab the wrist a little bit more, uh, you know. And sometimes just let go. If you see the guy's gonna like fucking rip your hand off, uh, just just let go and then let go and regrip. Okay, so sometimes that's a better option. Um, so. Beyond that, I think the most important thing you have to do uh, is you got to get your hands strong. Okay, so that's one really important thing. But at, so that helps. If you have more stronger hands, stronger fingers, okay, uh, it's definitely going to help to um, uh, you know to lessen the pain and stuff like that. Okay, but the two main things is, in my opinion, uh, food, okay, uh, nutrition, and recovery. So. 
and, and like this is good for a lot of other things too. It's not just good for your fingers, but you know, it, it, uh, it ties into this. So if you sleep enough and you sleep well, okay, your body's gonna recover faster. And then, well, it's, what helps with this also is, um, is eating the right foods, okay? So I find that if you eat more, I'm not a nutritionist or anything like that, but if you eat healthy, okay, and especially for your joints, okay, like if you have to eat a lot of healthy fats, okay, a lot of, lot of fats, the more fats you consume, uh, like the, the better it is, I find that you recover uh, your endurance and, and for your joints and stuff like that. But mind you, I'm on a, I'm on a ketogenic uh, type diet, right? So I eat a lot of fats. I eat practically no carbs, okay? Like the only carbs I get are from fruits and legumes and salads and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, so I, I hardly consume any, the only sugar I get is from fruits, Really, yeah, uh, you know, so other than that, I don't really consume a lot of fruits, uh, uh, sugar, okay, in general. Uh, I don't, um, and I eat a lot of fats, no carbs, so like that helps with the inflammation in your bodies, okay? So if you, if you reduce the inflammation by eating right, consuming a lot of healthy fats, uh, you know, a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens, uh, not too much fruit, there's, you know, there's sugar in the fruit, so I think that you should take it easy on that. <clears throat> So you reduce the inflammation, so obviously it's gonna, it's gonna help you recover faster and then you have to sleep enough. So when you sleep enough, you recover much better. So then you're gonna see your joints, you see like my joints, of course they're, they're a little bit stiff and shit, but I mean, they haven't gotten uh, any worse since I started, um, how do you say it, uh, eating you know, properly, resting properly and stuff like that. So yeah, man, I mean, that's the, there's, there's really no way to avoid it, okay? Like, the only way to avoid it would be to stop, but since we're not, we're not, nobody here is gonna stop, so I think that the best way is to get the hands strong, okay? Uh, to, like, optimize your diet, you know, consume a lot more fats and stuff like that, uh, you know, and eat less of the shit that's gonna produce, like, uh, uh, inflammation, all right, in your body. So, you know, sugars, uh, carbs, you know, all, all processed carbs and all that shit. So if you stay away from that, <clears throat> uh, let me just reiterate here. Okay, strong hands, uh, take it easy, like eat properly, consume uh, healthy fats, and then sleep enough, okay, you should be good. And then from there, you could do all the other stuff, which is to use a pulsating grip, and also maybe change your style a little bit, and um, regrip. You know, and uh, yeah, that's it, man. I think it's 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 the only way I find, and you could use tape too, obviously, but as uh, you know, for extra support. But I think if you get into the habit of using tape, and then you don't change any of the other stuff, you know, then it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse, right? So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that uh, that helped a little bit. That's how I see. Like I, I do judo all the time, okay. And um, my fingers are, well, they're, they're messed up, but they're not as bad as, like, if you could take a look, you see they're a little bit bumpy, right? But they're not as bad as other guys I've seen. Like, I've seen guys who have really fucked up fingers, you know? And, and that's because, well, you know, they just use a lot of tape and then go, and they don't change anything, any of the other things, you know? And they just figure that it's, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's part of the game. Yes, it is part of the game, but I think you can minimize the damage to your joints, uh, if, especially if you want to be, uh, you want to keep rolling, keep competing and stuff like that, because, you know, it's really fun, right, to, to uh, do BJJ, to roll, to, to do judo, to do any form of grappling. I mean, um, yeah, so, like, you don't, you don't have to fuck yourself up just to show that you're, uh, you know, it, it's not a, it's it's not um it's not something to be proud of. That's what I'm saying. You know, try to minimize the damage so you can roll more and you can get better too. And you know, I mean, it's it's your it's your health, right? So of course, there's no way around getting uh, sore, fucked up fingers, and you know, uh, sore and fucked up anything else in your body. But uh, I think we should all try to uh, do our best to to minimize um, the damage, you know, and even try to get better and rehab things that we can rehab, you know. Uh, so that's it, because things don't just get better by itself, and and that's it. Because a lot of times, I, I, I like a lot of older people. It's like they talk about injuries and stuff like that as as a uh, how do you say it? A, a, a you know like a 
badge of merit kind of thing, you know, like they're proud of it. But I, I don't think you should be proud of that. I mean, not that you should be ashamed of it either. You know, it's, it's, it's part of being a, uh, a warrior, right? A, a someone who likes to fight and train and stuff like that. You get, get fucked up a little bit. And in the end, like you, you, in life, I think that like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, right? Like if you don't do anything, you just sit on your ass and get fat and eat donuts and, and, and you're still going to fuck yourself up anyway. You might as well, uh, you know, I, I'd rather be um, doing something I enjoy, being a warrior, so to speak, you know, and training and stuff like that and, and developing skills and getting better and everything that comes along with it and get a little bit banged up. But at least the, the banging up, don't, don't let it get out of control. Like really, try, take care of yourself, man. Because, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck in this body until you day, the day you die. So, so why not have it running? Uh, you know, think of it as a high performance car, right? So if you want a high performance car, you gotta upgrade, tweak it, main, maintenance, change the oil, uh, change the tires, change the brakes, bring it to a mechanic when you have to, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and so on. So, all right, that's it for this video. It's been going on a little bit long. I hope I didn't bore you guys too much there, but um, yeah, man, take care of your fingers, guys. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I click on the notification button to know when I post another video. I try to post, recently I've been, I've been a little bit off, but I tend, I try to post like about five to 10 videos, uh, you know, a week, uh, all about, you know, martial arts and fitness for older guys. Uh, you know, a smart, more sustainable and functional approach to, to all of this uh, and not just like meathead shit because uh, we're a little bit too old to be doing meathead shit. Okay, guys, take it easy. Peace.